heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Father, for this day. Father, we want you to guide us and direct us, Father. We pray that we will lead the city in the direction that it needs to go. These and other blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. I wish to welcome you to this meeting of the mayor and the board of aldermen. Roll call, Ms. Goldman. Mr. Moore. Present. Mr. Johnson. Present. Mr. Nathan. Here. Mr. Armstrong. Here. Mr. Law. Present. All present, Mayor. Thank you, Ms. Goldman. Item number three, announcements. We are certainly pleased at a lot of our activities that's going on and we have graduates this year that are either the children of our employees or spouse. And I want to recognize those graduates right now. Miss Cynthia Lee, the wife of Captain Terry Lee. <laughs> we have a certificate of our appreciation, and I'm going to step down and join you. On behalf of the city of Basher, the council members in this office, I wish to congratulate your wife on her accomplishment for graduating from college. She is also the daughter of Mr. Willie McKeon, Director of Public Works. Congratulations. <laughs> Ashley Bonet Lenore, the daughter of Ms. Evelyn Lenore, an employee of our Parks and Recreation. We're certainly proud of Ashley's accomplishments. And if you will give her this handshake for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Her grandmother is here with us. Would you stand up? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. She's one of the ones that watched me grow up in Maroon. <laughs> Ash, uh, Angel Chaffer. She's the daughter of our city marshal. Okay. We will get this to Ms. Chaffer. Mr. McKee. Okay, help me with this, Ms. Lynch. <laughs> The pronunciation? Kenesha, would you come? She's the daughter of our patrol officer, Kiki Lynch. <laughs> we are proud of you Thank and your accomplishment as a graduate of Bastrop High School. <laughs> we implemented a wellness program and it has gained national, national momentum with First Lady Michelle Obama on wellness for our children. And we piloted this program at H.V. Adams School. And we have some winners that we will be sending the letters to Washington, D.C. We have the principal of H.V. Adams, Ms. Taylor. Would you join me, please? The students participated in a, almost a month-long project. They walked, and I have to admit, I fell by the wayside in my walking because I couldn't always get away from work in time. But we're proud of the children, the letters that they wrote, and then they have uh, talked about their experiences. And I'm gonna pass these certificates to you, 
Ms. Taylor, and if you would call their names <coughs> out. Some of them are here, some of them are not, but not you hold would you hold them and just okay. present them to the students? Okay. Go ahead and call their names so that that Faja name. Faja Bunnett, Lakeisha Fields. You come to the mic. This is for Lakeisha Fields. We're proud of you. <laughs> Give you a handshake. Lakeisha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for participating. <laughs> Jasmine Frazier. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. Zakia Holmes. Congratulations. Thank you for participating. Roderick Adams is not present. Quanisha Perry. Tajia Tillman. Charisma Robinson. Thank you. <laughs> Shakara Allen, Jakara Campbell, Deanna Hall. Jariel Hampton, Christopher Vines, Calicia Johnson, Nadia McGee, Alexis Brown, Brandy Carr, First Angel Cotton, Atia Ford, Cortland Harris, Ladeldrick Allen, Dylan Johnson, Javante Jones, Lucian McHenry, Shatoya McHenry, America Alford, Akila Avance, Kyler Bailey, Diamond Coleman, <coughs> Kranisha Johnson, Kaylin Johnson, Kaisha Scott, Kinteria Addison, Jalencia Campbell, Kiara Jackson, Chantalicia Windsor, Raven Ratcliffe, DeAndre Wilson, Malisha House, Kiara Thomas, Tiana Amons, Larry Hawkins, Reggie Johnson, Tamisha Jones, Jadarius Miles, and all of these students completed the um, challenge. And again, we want to thank Mayor Olive and the City of Bastrop for allowing our school to participate in this challenge. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Staff with you. You have someone with you. <coughs> I have Mrs. James, sixth grade teacher at Kennedy Adams, and I have several parents that are here tonight. So I want to thank them for coming out. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to be excused at this time, I'll pause for just a minute for our guest if you, as we continue on with city business. What we do for our children will long be remembered years to come, and it always gives me pleasure to recognize the children for their efforts. We've had several celebrations this week. This week is Police Week for Northeast Louisiana. 
and I urge you to acknowledge your support to our officers for the work that they do. This is Older Citizens Week with the nursing, nursing homes. I've made my rounds to all the nursing homes, <coughs> and I urge you to visit someone you know to let them know we appreciate their contribution to society. Also, this is Nurses Week, so express your gratitude to the nurses. We won the cleanest district, District 5, Category G. I want to thank Mr. McKee and all the hard work for the cleanup. We also want to compliment the cleanest city winner, which was Denham Springs. We placed number three, but I still feel very proud of all of the work that was done towards this effort. There were five cities in the category, so we were in the middle, so we know we're going to go towards number one <laughs> instead of <laughs> down towards number five. Denise Houston will be returning. She's with the uh, USDA department. She has been assisting us with housing needs for individuals who fit into the criteria. The census, they will be doing the door-to-door -door campaign. Please make sure everyone that you know is counted. It is so important to our community. We're working on our fire rating that's coming up. That's, that has been a priority with Mr. Montgomery. Mr. Montgomery, did you want to make any comments uh, that we are prepared? I know this is impromptu. I had it in my notes of announcements. Good afternoon, Mayor and Council. Afternoon. Yes, this fire rating is something that the city of Bastrop goes through every five years. Um, last time, I guess, goes without saying was in 2005. And as of June 29th of this year, we'll be going through the rating again. Um, it's a process that um, we're familiar with. We're confident that we're going to do well at it. And uh, if there's any assistance I need from any of you all, I will be contacting you at that time. So thank you. Thank you, Chief Montgomery. All right. Public Works, you're going to hear from Mr. McKee a little later, but under announcement, Mr. McKee, do you have anything you want to say in terms of uh, your congratulations to all of your division and the hard work that they did for the cleanup? I'll make this short, Mayor, Council. Uh, the Public Works, uh, along with the citizens, in my opinion, did a great job. Honestly, I think the city looked better than it did the year we won first place. So I believe uh, Denham Springs, they must just let them win because it's the first time they entered. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. McKee. On the day that they gave me this plaque, Mr. McKee had to take a call to address some public works needs, so he didn't get a chance to stand in and receive the plaque, <laughs> but, but I accepted it on behalf of all the hard work that everyone joined together in doing. The recovery plan, we had our official meeting with the council about three weeks ago, and I want you to know that the copies have gone out to, to the governor and all parties that are in need of having a copy. We will be working on our first meeting to see where we stand in terms of progress for our recovery. That concludes my announcements. Are there any announcements from the floor or from the council members? Item number four. At this time, I will entertain a motion to approve the previous minutes for March 23rd. I'll May I make a motion that we approve the um, meeting, the minutes of our last meeting that was held on the 4th? I second. Any questions? 
Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Meeting April the 8th, 2010, regular meeting. I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion. Second. Properly moved and second. Any questions? Discussions? All in favor? Aye. aye. Any? Excuse me? Was that an aye? Yes, sir. Okay. Motion carries. And April 15th, special call meeting. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Properly moved? Second. And second. Any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Item number five, Finance Committee Report, Resolution 101329, Bills and Claims for the month of April 2010. I'd like to make a motion that we adopt Resolution 10-1329. Properly moved? Second. Second. And second. Any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number six, Steve Perry, resolution 101330A, resolution des designating approximately 15 acres of land in Bastrop as an economic development area and as an area for which the plans for development are consistent with development plans. Mr. Perry, did you want to address just briefly speak to the public. Mayor and Council, I appreciate y'all hearing my, my, my resolution and, and uh, I hope this is something that comes for, to fruition. It's something I've worked at and I think if uh, I think it'll, it'll be a betterment for the city. I think it'll be a big plus for the city as far as housing. Um, I'll, as I said in the past meeting, I'll keep you posted on the progress. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Good. Perry. At this time, I will entertain a motion. I make a motion, Mayor. I second. Properly moved and second. Any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Perry. Item number seven. Ms. E. Diane Vernon, American Legion Auxiliary Poppy Drive. permission to do the poppy drive on two of the corners of the courthouse square. I would say four, but it, why get to four? Because we get all traffic on two. Because that way if we get the money, the, mo the money that we get. Excuse me, would you come a little bit closer to the microphone? Yes, ma'am. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that audible to everybody? Okay. You might want to pull it down a little bit. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we do the uh, poppy drive. We take donations for poppies that the veterans of the, the American veterans make themselves. And we distribute, they, we take donate, donations for them. And the money stays, half of the money we collect stays in parish and half goes to state. And it stays in the state of Louisiana. And this is for the American veterans and families. And we do this for like sending girls to Girl State versus helping a vet veteran's family out with a bill or something. Anything that we know of that they need help with, that we can do help versus taking up collections for our troops. So okay. Um, we would like to How is it decided who gets what? The, well, the we need. split it down to if we it just uh, our, our, I guess you say, our, it's a committee of the American Legion Auxiliary. And so if, if we're not, if if we know about it, we try to help everybody. There are very few um, things that we do in terms of collecting money on the streets. And, and in the past, the American Legion Post has been one of two, I believe, mm -hmm. because there is a risk associated with, with people being on the street. Mr. Lawrence, would you speak to this to the council so that they can make a well-informed decision <coughs> as they prepare to vote on this request? 
Sure, I think the one other group may be the firefighters, I think. Uh, and I know that in the past it had been a problem in the sense that there were so many groups that came that wanted permission and I believe that the city narrowed down its uh, authorization to basically these two groups because of the risk. Yeah. Uh, so with that said, I know that this group has historically been able to participate. Yeah. It is this body's prerogative, the yeah. mayor and the board of all the persons, it's your prerogative to decide who may and who may not stand on those corners yeah. and uh, make collections. So you have a right to authorize it if you wish. And we're coming, you know, we're asking, and it's no children involved. And I'm going to ask the sheriff's auxiliary members. They've helped us one time. They've helped us before. And they're the one that stands out in the street. They don't let us. And that's another thing that I wanted to add in there. Okay, depending on how this council decides yes, to, to, to vote on your request, I also urge you to meet with Chief Black in terms of requirements. Yes, ma'am. Okay. At this time, I will entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. We have a motion on the floor. Second. Second. Properly moved and duly second. Any questions? I, I have a question. Mr. Yes, sir. Lawrence. Mr. Uh, Obi Johnson. You say there's only two people that's authorized to do these type? Two groups. Yes, sir. Quite some time ago, there were a lot of uh, parties asking for permission. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that the question came up before this body, and ultimately the decision was made to narrow it down to two authorization historically to, to, to grant it to two organizations. Uh, not that the number was stuck at two, but the point was, I think this body looked at the merits of uh, all the groups that came forward and decided that these two were meritorious. You didn't have children involved and some of the other uh, special risk circumstances. So yes, that's, that's what I remember doing. the last lady that came before us. So that's why I'm asking you, we gonna keep it at two. Well, yeah, for the time being, that's, this that's what your time. history is. That's what I'm asking. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Can answer my question. Are you ready to take a vote? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mayor. Would you and meet will, with Chief Black and, and set I will up a time? I'll also get with you for a, a date to sign the Bobby Proclamation. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Item number eight, Ms. K. King, Economic Development Update. Thank you, Mayor Ollie, the City Council. It's always a pleasure to be here. I had a relatively short list, and I kept thinking, oh, I need, I need to mention that, I need to mention that, so I'll, I'll, but I'll try to keep this as brief as possible. There's always a lot of activities that happen during the month. I try to narrow it down to a few of the things that I think are the most interesting or, or the most uh, in, that the public would be interested in hearing about. But I did want to make note of the Chamber of Commerce trip that Mayor Olive and I attended, and, and I know that it was in the newspaper. Many people probably saw that. And uh, we went down, I think it was a very good trip. We had some private meetings with the governor who assured us that Northeast Louisiana and Morehouse Parish are still on the state's radar. I think that when we start hearing about uh, the budget cuts and things that are going on in Baton Rouge and now with this oil spill, that we might tend to think that people aren't thinking about Northeast Louisiana. And he assured us that North, that we are still on the radar and they are very, working very hard to bring things here. And he was very sincere in that. We also met with Commissioner Strain with the Department of Agriculture. He gave some very good insight into some types of businesses that we might also be looking at and, and it kind of correlate with our redevelopment plan and noting some of the new businesses that are coming into Northeast Louisiana like the sweet potato plan and some extra business that we might uh, might generate off of those other area industrial developments. Um, we met with Jerry Jones in facility planning and I thought some of the information that he gave was very uh, 
reassuring that plans were still in the works for improvements to Shamanahaw State Park. I'm sure they don't have any money right now to fund those improvements, but it reassured me that there were still things going on in the planning process because I think our state park and some of the Bayou Bartholomew, as it was um, determined by our redevelopment plan, will be very important for tourism development that's very economic development oriented and in, in that bringing people into our parish from outside and bringing that money into the parish because that's the main thing that our organization works with it works with with companies that are going to bring in new dollars into the community because we we can't just recirculate the dollars those things kind of will eventually make their way out and we have to continue to bring in those new dollars into the community and in talking about the redevelopment plan well does anyone have any questions about the uh, meeting in Baton Rouge before I move on to the next item okay. uh, in keeping that momentum as Mayor Olive uh, reference the redevelopment plan we do need to keep interest in that we do need to um, to keep motivated and keep groups involved there's a lot of groups involved other than Morehouse economic development and we're going to have to work at, at keeping the goals and and to keep making progress in this I did speak with Kelsey short today and he's very interested in coming back he'll be scheduling a meeting and he wants to come back and and talk talk with us about how we're gonna you know keep the momentum going on that project and in doing that we did just complete the biomass study that was in the newspaper yesterday I think they gave a very good account of the the uh, report that was put together by LSU um, Cornelius um, de, de Hoop I have, to, I have a problem saying his name but uh, he was very knowledgeable I think he put us together a good report something that we can use to, in conjunction with the redevelopment plan now for things that are a little more exciting so that people don't doze off I want to tell you a little bit about tractor supply company because I was very encourage the new manager Robert Hebron uh, attended our May 5th board of directors meeting he was at at the labor office and they have been hiring they will have 12 permanent employees at the store there will be more and I'm sure there will be more at different times but they will have 12 permanent employees and he was very encouraging he wants to be uh, he wants to take an active part in the community he has a lot of activities planned at the store like antique tractor shows and some things that I believe will continue to bring people into the community and we do have an opportunity with tractor supply to expand our regional sales and I know that we are already doing a pretty good job the the retail that we have here and once again this is talking about bringing in dollars from outside the community but I talk with people in parking lots sometimes <laughs> and uh, I, I saw an automobile last week with a Arkansas license plate and this couple drive from Monticello to shop in our Walmart because they like our Walmart and I think that as we get additional stores here we have more opportunities we're going to continue to be a regional drawing power and that helps with our sales tax collections and helps us helps the city and the parish with um, with some of the gaps that IP left with, with as far as tax base and I think that we're doing very well with that as um, last month Mr. Ron Carter reported I think that even though we're down we're, we're still doing better than many parishes Macon Ridge right Macon well okay let me tell you I got my note here uh, tractor supply company will be open in the end of June and I believe uh, what I've been told that the Morehouse Activity Center will be opening in sometime in August or they will be completed with that so I'm looking for a very um, a very good summer we can see 
we can see construction underway on Bastrop, uh, Toyota Bastrop. And then we see citizens like Mr. Perry continuing to make investment in the city. I think these are all very positive signs. I'm also working with a couple of area businesses that I have not previously worked with that have plans to expand. So I'll be bringing some additional information about that within the next couple of months. Uh, Macon Ridge Foods, I want to give you a little report on that. I have been working with the, the two young men, um, Mr. Irwin and Mr. Riley, this week. And so I've been, I've been out there. And they will be doing some type of promotion coming up within the next few weeks. They are scheduled to have their product in the grocery stores or starting distribution in a couple of weeks. So as with any new business, there's always a few things that are not expected, but I think that we're about to really get that business off the ground, or they are, and, and we're doing everything in our organization to support them that we can, and I know that the city has been very supportive of, of different items with, you know, trying to make sure things that are within the law that we, we have met the, the uh, needs of that being a startup business and treating it as a business incubator in, in the building. Uh, I do wish them success. I have heard people in Northeast Louisiana talking about this because they did win the Bulldog business plan competition at Louisiana Tech. And when I attended the North Louisiana Economic Partnership annual meeting, there were people talking about uh, this new business. And um, so I think that a lot of people are going to be watching the success. And they're going to be watching how Morehouse Parish and Bastrop supports young businesses. I will like to also add that in that meeting that the city of Bastrop was recognized by the speaker uh, because he had been on the city council's, or he had been on the city's website and watched city council meetings. And he talked about the importance of visibility on the web and how, how essential that is to attracting new business, to have that web presence. And he, he was using Bastrop as an example of a community that was doing this and uh, I compliment the city on the progress that I believe has been made and on continuing to promote Bastrop as a technology friendly and uh, taking advantage of, of new technology and I applaud you on that. It was pretty nice to be recognized and there was a pretty good crowd there. Um, that's Do you have any questions for Ms. King? Thank you, Ms. King. It's a pleasure working with you. She worked with us on the redevelopment plan. That took almost a year, a lot of steering committee meetings and, and coming together to see what's important in this community. And I want to publicly I express my appreciation for your work with that. And Ms. King also has worked with us on several grant projects that we have submitted and we are waiting for a response. And so much of the work we do is so methodical. And sometimes I know it gives a mundane appearance to the ordinary citizen, but we have to take it step by step. And in the process, calm the public passion about what's going on and let you know that we are working behind the scenes so much of what we do is sensitive. We can't tell the public because it compromises the integrity. But we are working, and I appreciate working with you, Ms. King. Well, I, it, the same, and uh, I believe that, I really believe things are going along very well, and I'm uh, tremendously optimistic about the future of Astro. <coughs> Thank and you. And Morehouse Parish. Thank you. Item number nine, discussion action on public works bids. Ms. Goldman. Mayor Cancel, uh, we, this is uh, an item that we did every year. Uh, it's to go out for bids for certain public works 
materials just in case we have a big project. Jay, we try to get a good prices to help us in getting our supplies. I'll go ahead and read them out and we'll have to take a vote. We can do it all at one time. Base course aggregate, we have one bidder, Johnson Company, LLC. They bid at $14.75 per ton. Uh, surface course aggregate, Johnsville uh, Company, LLC, uh, bidded on it for $14.75 a ton. Number two, wash gravel, Johnson Company, LLC. They bidded $20.50 per ton. Ready mix concrete, a century ready mix, uh, four sack mix, 109, five sack mix, 105, and six sack mix is 101. Concrete coverage, uh, Raker uh, materials, bid on that. They were the sole bidder also. Uh, coated metal cupboards, contact construction products was the so bitter. And um, asphalt mix, uh, the bidder was Dreer Contracting. They bid at $89 per ton. I recommend that um, y'all accept the bid. And you've heard the information provided by Ms. Goldman. What is your pleasure on this request? At this time, I'll entertain a motion. May I make a move that we accept this bid? Second. And second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Gomez. Item number 10, discussion action on surveillance equipment for police department. Chief Black. Good evening. This, uh, this is a two file, 2005 technology grant, and this is just about to wrap up that grant. It is for some low light surveillance equipment. And we advertised for bids, and the low bid was from Texten Incorporated for $35,544. And I recommend that we accept this bid. Chief, did you say it was a grant? Yes, sir. Okay. It's a 2005 technology grant, and I think um, this probably will finish up that particular grant. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lawrence, is, do you need to speak to this? Well, I had a conversation with the chief, and I think it's one of those grants where if you don't spend it, you lose it. You, you lose Correct. It. Yes. Right. And uh, it's part of a multi-year, uh, I guess it's been funding some other things as well. So, Yes, sir, we've, we've purchased some other things, I think. Uh, related to security? Well, there may be one other thing left. Uh, um, fiber optic, optical mm -hmm. equipment that we can just uh, get, get quotes on it wouldn't require to be bid out. Right. But uh, we have purchased some radios and some other equipment with it so far. And some purchases were made before I took office also. So uh, this is getting close to finishing out this grant. Well, I think it suffices to say it's badly needed. Uh, the equipment is useful, and if you don't buy it, you lose the money. So that's basically where we are. <laughs> okay, you've heard the presentation by Chief Black. And the recommendation made by our attorney, use it or lose it. What is your pleasure? So moved. We have a motion? Second. second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Chief Black. Thank you. Item number 11, permission to advertise for bids for street program. Mr. McKee. Uh, this is a procedure that we go by to request the council has to give us permission to advertise for bids to do some street repairs uh, and 
if there are any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Do you have any questions for Mr. McKee? I have one, ma'am. Okay, Is Mr. A, Mr. Johnson. A designated area you will be starting from? Yes, sir. Uh, if, if you like, I, I'll be happy to name the streets that we have. Okay, th does that question deviate from what you were talking about, Mr. McKee? Permission to advertise for bids for street program. Do we have the clarity on what Mr. McKee is talking about first? Mm. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, McKee. Okay. The, the, the tentatively, the streets are Cypress. Forest, Highland, Pearl, MLK South, and Hoover. Approximately four miles of street. Okay. Are there any other questions? And, and of course, once we advertise for bids, it comes back to the council for approval. Okay. okay. Okay, at this time I will entertain a motion. I make a motion, Mayor. Second. Uh, properly moved and second. Any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 12, Mr. McKee, if you will remain at the podium. Discussion on animal and fowl ordinance. Uh, Ma'am, both of them, we've had a lot of call about animals, uh, nuisance, provide, presenting a nuisance in the neighborhoods. And we did some research on our ordinance. And the biggest complaints were animals weren't pinned up, the areas weren't kept clean, and they were trespassing, trespassing on their neighbor's property and causing uh, insect and uh, unsanitary odor. Uh, and, and, and we wanted the council to give us some direction on which way you wanted us to go on this. I, I have a suggestion. I, I suggest, and of course, I'm not to turn Mr. Lawrence is, but I suggest we enforce the ordinance we have. I concur. For the time being, I concur. That's what we start off with. And just for an example, all animals should be should be pinned, kept clean, waste removed from the pens, and the animals should be placed in an area that also protects them from the weather. So you wrecked a shed, in other words. <laughs> yes. And, and and for an example, let's say I had a horse, and I didn't have a pen for him, and I and I just put a rope on him and let him kind of just roam around and maybe the rope is long enough to extend on my neighbor's property well now you're in violation of city ordinance i'm in violation of city ordinance because first of all he isn't paying and next of all he's trespassing on my neighbor's property any questions i so appreciate some years ago as a council member mr lawrence would always tell us to use the ordinance that we had on the books first and, and this is certainly applicable in this situation. Mr. McKee researched the ordinance. We've talked. Uh, you had some dialogue as council members in the finance committee. We have bounced it off of our attorney. And I think this is one of those instances where we can use what we have creatively mm -hmm. to address so many of the, the requests we get in reference to horses and dogs and chickens. chickens and Goats. Goats. Okay. I don't want to miss any animal <laughs> in the roll call here, but at this time, I think this requires no action, right, Mr. Lawrence? Yes, ma'am. That's, that's right. And uh, if, if I could, Mayor, if I could add sure. one other thing, I think the recommendation, one recommendation too, that yeah, be that I know that the board of all the persons, as well as yourself, and I know Mr. Lockett spoke to this deals with publicizing the actual ordinances that Mr. McKee just mentioned. And so with your authorization and with the uh, acquiescence of the board of all the persons, that's what we will do. 
make known what these ordinances are so that people will be directly aware of when they are in violation. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Mr. McKee, if you'll take care of the proper protocol in terms of making sure it's publicly known in all the mediums that we exercise. All right. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to expand this agenda. So move. We have a motion by Mr. Armstrong. Second. second. And second by Mr. Nason and Mr. Locke. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? We need to talk about the closure of the Donaldson Street Bridge. This is a state of emergency. Mr. McKee, if you'll come back. We've um, had some communication with our engineer. Mayor, while Mr. McKee is coming, may I speak to this issue? Certainly, please. Uh, of course, Mayor Olive mentioned this to me along with the city clerk and Mr. McKee earlier. And as I understand it, we We've just expanded the agenda to add this item to it for your consideration. And my understanding is we want to consider this on an emergency basis, which means that the regular uh, steps that you would go through, public bid process, et cetera, those things would be suspended. And the law does permit you to do that when there is an emergency. Now, in this particular instance, when you have a bridge out, even though there may be alternate routes or whatever else, you have to take into account that fire protection may be compromised, police protection may be compromised, uh, safety to pedestrians and or motor vehicles, even though they're not using it, that may be compromised. So that may constitute a basis. Uh, and you have the right to say that that is an emergency that makes it necessary to deem this uh, action an emergency. So I'm, we're gonna ask you to actually take two votes if you uh, so, so see it to take this matter up. First, to declare that there are emergency circumstances that are in place that necessitate uh, the suspension of the normal rules and taking advantage of the state law that allows you to expedite uh, letting this out for, for, I guess, I'm not gonna say for bid, but for repair, whatever, whatever route you take. And then secondly will be to actually authorize the city to proceed with making the repairs. So just keep that in mind, that sequence, declaring this an emergency, if you so deem it to be, and then the second step, authorizing the work to be done. Thank you, Mr. Lawrence. Mr. McKee, if you will talk a little bit about why, and then I believe the council will be better prepared to address those two motions that uh, Mr. Lawrence has went in detail about. Oh, okay, Mayor. I Briefly, we are doing our annual bridge, bridge inspections to see what repairs, if any, we need to make. And we recognized immediately at Dawson Street Bridge this morning that it was in grave need of repair and it created a hazard for the public. We went ahead and closed the bridge so we, we didn't have any more traffic come across it. And we need to repair. We've also notified all of the agencies involved that may provide emergency service and, and the police jury, of course, and everyone involved. We will also try to see if we can get something on the cable channel to let them know, to let the citizens know that the bridge is closed. There are alternate routes. You'll have to go about a block and a half to two blocks out of the way, but you can still, there will be an alternate route. At this time, I will entertain a motion in reference to declaring the bridge on Don Donaldson Street as a, an emergency. What is your pleasure? I make a motion, Mayor. I second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. I will entertain a motion at this time to authorize the city of Bastrop to to make necessary repairs on the bridge on Donaldson Street. So moved. Second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Thank McKee. You. We covered everything, Ms. Gold? Yes, ma'am. At this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. 
Well, I'll make a motion. Properly moved by Mr. Johnson. Second. And second by Mr. Moore. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.